I'm about to reveal how you can start a faceless YouTube Shorts channel with AI and bulk create over 1,000 engaging, monetizable, and viral shorts in under 20 minutes. But before that, take a look at this channel getting millions of views. I bet you heard the story before, huh? If you haven't, here's a quick recap. A few months back, the secret feature on Canva called Bulk Create was found. This led to a literal apocalypse of videos showing how to create the same boring videos. In addition to that, none of these creators actually show how to post all of these shorts effectively, which makes the entire method completely useless. Mm -hmm. This is why I've created a full blueprint that'll show you, one, how to bulk create hundreds of shorts in a few minutes. But not just any short, I'm talking about shorts that include all elements needed for a video to go viral, such as an insanely high average view duration and engaging content that will make people write comments. Two how to bulk schedule the shorts across all social media platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. This means you'll be able to grow five accounts on five different platforms, putting in the same effort as if you would schedule your shorts on only YouTube. Three, how to actually make money off of your social media accounts once you go viral. To show you the evidence, check out this YouTube channel. They're getting loads of views, and if we do a quick check if they're monetized, you can see right here that they are. If we search for the channel on Social Blade, they're making a good amount of money from it too, for shorts that we'll be able to create in no time. Now, let's stop talking and get into it. Part 1. Bulk Video Creation We're going to be using ChatGPT to create all the riddles in bulk. And don't worry, I'll put the prompt I use in the description, so just go ahead and copy-paste it. When you're on the ChatGPT website that looks like this, paste this following prompt. Act as a riddles expert and your task is to create 50 quick riddles for your viewers to solve. The riddles should be simple enough to engage and amuse the participants. Each riddle should consist of three options and only one correct answer. Present your riddles in a table format as shown below. Title, hook, body, option one, option two, option three, and answer. Here's an example of a riddle. The title is Riddle Central. The hook, can you solve this? The body is, I can fly without wings. I can cry without eyes. Whenever I go, darkness flies. What am I? And then we have the three options, a cloud, a dream, and a candle. The answer is a candle. Please ensure your riddles are fun, engaging, and provide a satisfying feeling when completed. While ChatGPT is generating our riddles, it's time to head over to probably the best design tool out there called Canva. This is where we'll design our video template that we'll use to bulk create our 50 shorts. Why I chose to only create 50 shorts is because when we're done with the first batch, we'll be able to tweak the background of the video template to avoid videos that all look the same. Now this part of the video is the hardest, so I'll take it extra slow. First, press Create New Design and choose the YouTube Shorts video template. You'll end up with a blank design, like this. Next, we have to choose a background for the video. Click on the Elements tab to the left and search for something like Motion Background. Make sure to set the filter to Videos and then pick something that is colorful and vibrant but has a simple feeling. This is important to catch the viewer's attention but not overwhelm them. Just click on the background you want and drag the edges of it so that it fits our canvas. Now, add a header by pressing on Text in the toolbar to the left. It doesn't matter too much what you write, but this will be where our riddle's title will appear once we connect all the data. For this example, I'm going to copy our first title from ChatGPT to get a feel for the size. You can adjust the text to fit your design by making it bigger, smaller, or maybe all caps. A super important thing you need to do is expand the purple box around the text to the edges of your canvas, because later on when the bulk creation tool will insert text of different lengths, we don't want to risk it ruining our design. This actually applies to all text elements, so make sure to keep that in mind. Moving on, we're going to add a gradient background to the text by searching for square shape in the elements tab. Choose the one with the rounded corners and adjust it to fit the text. Go to Color and choose one of the gradients. Pro tip, make sure to group the text and the square to make it easier later on. In order to make our text stand out even more, let's add a black overlay. To do this, just add another square shape with sharp corners and expand it to cover the whole canvas. Make it black and adjust the transparency to around 35. Then, press Position 
and then back until it has been placed as a layer behind the text and our gradient square. Let's add another header, but this time, go to ChatGPT and copy your hook. Make sure this text is as big as possible, as this will be the first thing the viewer sees. Select the font as you wish. Now we're going to add a confused person to make it seem the quiz is really hard. Search for Confused in the Elements tab and choose a person that actually looks confused and frustrated. You can even remove the background in Canva, but if you don't happen to have Canva Pro, use this website called remove.bg to remove the background for free. Next, let's add some motion to our elements by clicking on the text, and then animate. Choose whatever animation you like, but most importantly, make sure to apply an animation to all elements. This next step is really important. Right-click on the element and select Show Timing. This will let you choose when the text appears and when it disappears, which will be needed for the next part. Go back to ChatGPT once again and copy the body of the riddle. Add a new text element, but this time subheading, and paste in the text. Since this text is hard to fit in one background box, press Effects and add the background effect to the text. You can make it any color you want. Let's duplicate the body text three times and replace each one with our different options for the riddle. Change the background color for each option and don't forget to add a subtle animation to make the viewers more engaged. Also change the timing so that your options and the body appear after the hook has disappeared. Once you've made sure everything appears at the right time, let's add a timer to make the viewer really excited and committed to watch it all the way through. Think about it. If you see a timer, you'll really start wondering what happens when it hits zero. So just go back to the Elements tab and find a timer that fits. I'd say about 10 seconds is more than enough time to think about the riddle. You might think that we're done by now, but I actually have a proven method that will increase your chances of going viral by a lot. At the end, you absolutely do not want to reveal the result. In order to encourage the viewer to engage with your video, when the timer has reached zero, we're going to add a CTA, meaning call to action. This is very basic stuff when it comes to digital marketing, so hang with me. As I said, just add another text element and write something like, did you get it right? Or comment your guess if you think you got it right. Let's go with the shorter alternative and make it really so that nobody misses it. The key here is to only show it for maybe one to two seconds, otherwise the video will become unnecessarily wrong. To make this last screen more visually appealing, Let's also add some celebration graphics and adjust them to the timeline as well. Let's take a look at our final result. Doesn't it feel like something is missing? Music, of course. Some music in Canva can be copyrighted, so just go to any royalty-free music website like Pixabay and choose some fitting quiz music. Upload it to Canva by pressing Uploads to the left and add it to the video real quick. Here's our new video. really good. This means I can finally reveal what you've been waiting for. Canva actually has a rather secret feature that will let you connect different data sources to the design, allowing you to bulk create as many shorts as you want to. What you want to do is search for bulk create in the apps section to the left and select the right tool. To use this tool, you need the Canva Pro plan, but don't worry, every single user can sign up for a 30-day free trial for free. You can even cancel it immediately after signing up and it will still work for 30 days. In the Bulk Create tool, click on Enter Data Manually, clear the table, and then go back to your Google Sheets document and copy 50 rows, including the titles for each row. Press on T in Canva and paste your data. It'll look something like this. Now click Done and it's time to connect our data sources. 
If you don't get this right, nothing will work, so pay close attention. Right-click on the hook and select Connect Data. Then, connect the right data source. You need to repeat this for all the different parts of your riddle until all the data sources are connected. You can control that they've been connected in the menu to the left. Now, click on Continue and then hit Generate. And just like that, you have 50 shorts ready to be uploaded. If you want 50 more, just repeat this process, maybe changing some visuals in your video template, and you'll be good to go. But wait a minute, at this stage, you might be wondering how you actually post all these 50 shorts without sweating your ass off for five hours straight in YouTube Studio. This leads us to part two, leveraging bulk scheduling. After six months of creating multiple social media channels and growing them beyond 100,000 followers, I managed to find a single website that will let you schedule the same video across all platforms like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube in under two minutes. Before I reveal the name, if you've watched this far, it means you kinda enjoy my content. So press the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and you'll never miss any AI content like this. I really appreciate it. Okay. So the website is called Buffer and looks like this. All you gotta do is connect all your social media accounts on the channels page and then you're good to go. I've made sure to find a website that is totally free. And with Buffer, you can connect three social accounts free of charge. So here's how you publish your first video. Click on Publishing at the top of the page and then Calendar. From here, just press Create Post and if you've done everything right, you should see the different social accounts that you connected earlier. Now, just attach the video. And for the captions, I got you covered. When you're gonna be posting a lot of shorts, thinking of captions will be really time consuming. So what you wanna do is copy the ChatGPT prompt I've put in the description, head back over to ChatGPT and paste it in. As you can see, you'll get a complete title, description, and tags for the video. Considering we're posting on all different channels at once, we will need to tailor this information to fit the different platforms. So just go ahead and insert the basic info in Buffer and then press Customize for each network to change the hashtags for each post. The tags generated by ChatGPT are strictly for the YouTube shorts, but they can still be great to include in descriptions for an extra SEO boost. To finally post the videos, press on the little arrow beside Add to Queue and then Share Now. If you followed all the steps correctly, you have now published your first video. And now you might be wondering, what the hell do I do now? All of the other creators usually just leave you here, right? Luckily, I'm not like the others. I am going to show you precisely how you can convert your viral content into something actually generating you money. And I'm not talking about the AdSense from YouTube. I'm talking about an external income source that'll give you a much higher return. Part 3. Turning Views into Dollars Here's what you're gonna do. Once you've gained a decent following on your different social media channels, you're gonna think of different brands that would be interested in showing off their product on your videos. Make sure to write down some key information about what niche these brands are in, how their products look, and how their ideal customer looks. Preferably, their ideal customer should be someone with the same interests as your audience. All this information is gonna make sense in a second. Now, go to Fiverr and find a cheap virtual assistant. If your channel has a big amount of followers, propose an offer, including a performance fee that entitles the VA to a little bit of the profits you generate. By doing this, you won't have to pay a high hourly rate and the freelancer will be determined to work hard. Anyways, make sure to give this freelancer the information about the brands you researched earlier, because that will be the guidelines for the VA to follow. With the right amount of time and dedication, you'll easily be able to close multiple sponsorships each month creating another additional income stream from the channel. This usually ranges from $500 to $5,000, depending on the size of your audience. Remember though, that making money online is hard and requires a lot of work. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment to show some support. I really appreciate it. See you in the next one.